So today we are going to perform a task on a national uh, task on a national instrument USB 6001, and, that, uh, and our task is that uh, we will give an analog input to acquire an uh, digital output. So to start a uh, start a program on a software, uh, we will go first on a function, and here is an option of measurement input output, and here and uh, in, in measurement input output there is an option of an dac max, uh, and we will log this option like this, and uh, from here we will uh, create a channels for the analog input and and digital output like this. We create a channel for analog input, and then we start. Uh, then we select an start option, then read option, then stop option, then clear option. Same for the digital output. Create channel, start channel. Here we will select for that uh, right channel for the output or uh, output one. From then stop option and then clear option. Now we will simply connect a simple error from a dialog box option to the clear uh, to the clear channel like this. Same for the digital output like this. Here we will select uh, same analog input and voltage source. Same and here the analog uh, from the analog we will acquire a digital output. So we uh, select a digital output option like this. Here also we will change it from analog to digital like this single single, single channel single sample and boolean nine one like this. Now we will interconnect all the channels with the task in and task out option like this. Like this. Same as for the error in error out option like this. Same method methodology for we will do for the digital output option like this. We will connect all the task in task out of all the channels like this. Now we will collect an error in error out of all the channels in digital output like this. At an add in a create channel, we will uh, there is an option of physical channel. From here, we will select and create a constant to give a port number as you have given in a USB 6001. For the digital output, same we will create a constant for the port. At an analog input, we have selected the analog input port 0. And here also in the software part, we will we will also have to select an analog input port 0 like this. And for the digital, we will for the digital output we have selected in a hardware. I mean in a national instrument USB 6001, we will select the port uh, Port zero line zero option. Here also in a software part, we will also have to select the same same port like this. Yeah. Now we will make a while loop uh, while while loop for the continuous run like this. Yeah. Here we will cre create a control for the stop option. Yeah. Now in uh, in for this program we have two options. We have two cases. Uh, first first one is that when we when we will not rotating the knob of a potential meter, the LED should be off. So. Uh, and, the, and the second case is when the when, when we start rotating at the knob of potential meter, the LED should be start, um, LED should be gone blown after a certain voltage. So for this, we will have to select in the case structure for the two cases like this. Yeah. Now we will simply connect the uh, data we will, which will be read by the case structure like this. And here we have find the two cases for zero and the one. And in and, and, and zero option, we will uh, select an off option uh, when we will not rotating the knob of potential meter, the LED should be off. And then we uh, we will select. Then we will connect this with the right of an digital output like this. Yeah. And the second case is of our when we start uh, when the we start rotating the knob, the LED should blown and then the LED should be uh, should be on after a certain voltage. Now we will select here the true blown boolean. We will select the true constant like this to blown the LED. Interconnect this like this. And now to verify in the to verify in our software part. We will uh, simply uh, select an LED like this, round LED. Then from here we will enlarge the size of the LED to for the good visualization like this. And we will enlarge the size of the stop button also at, at that time only like this. We will simply make an invisible labels like this. Now uh, we will place an LED. Yeah, this. We will simply connect this LED with the wire of this case structure like this. Yeah. Now our program is uh, ready to run. Now we will run a program like this. When we start, when we are not rotating the knob, the LED will uh, the, the LED will off, and we uh, as soon as possible when we start the rotation of the LED like this, we have seen the LED is LED is blown up after rotating the uh, knob of potentiometer like this. When we uh, move an anti-clockwise, then LED is start LED is in off position, and when we move it clockwise, the LED is in on position. Thank you. Hi everyone, 
Now as we have completed our software program for analog input digital output, now we are going to perform our task on hardware. So this is our national instrument and I USB 6001. There is digital input output port and in other hand analog input output port. So as to take the analog input, we will use this potentiometer and in digital uh, output uh, LED which will use this. This is a simple LED. So we are going to make connection with this in that this is VCC, this is signal pin and this one is ground pin. So we will connect this pin with this ports where this is analog input pin. So we will connect with analog zero because we, we have taken analog input zero. So we will connect it with analog zero and in digital output we have configured digital port zero line zero. So we will connect it with digital port zero line zero. So now we are going to make connection. So as you can see that we have connected our potentiometer with this analog input point uh, port 0 line 0 and this is ground pin. So here we have given a ground pin to see the LED on software as well as hardware also. This is our digital port 0 which has connected with LED because as we will see on software the LED is glowing simultaneously our hardware LED is also glowing. So this is our 5 volt which is connected with potentiometer and this is analog input. So when we run the program, this is our running icon. So we will run the program and after when we rotate this rotating knob of potentiometer, this is rotating knob of potentiometer. As you can see that when the voltage of potentiometer is greater than 3.5, then LED is glowing. As you can see that the software LED as well as our hardware LED both are glowing. So there we have connected analog input by potentiometer and analog output by a LED.